Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. My name is Tiffany. In today's video, we're gonna be doing some really easy and practical mom hacks. A lot of these come in super helpful when my daughter was a baby and even now to this day. And also stay tuned, I will be announcing the giveaway winner at some point in this video. So let's get into it. All right, hack number one is to wash and sanitize toys in a mesh bag. I love this one. It's good for sanitizing and getting rid of germs. So I'm just gonna take any toy. Here I am taking some Legos. Any toy that can be washed, um, it's a hard plastic, nothing with batteries, nothing that could fall apart. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick that in the bag. Now here I am showing you these baby toys. These are notorious for you know holding on to germs. So I'm gonna take again toys that do not have batteries and that can be washed. And I'm gonna pop them in the washing machine with some towels, with some blankets, just to bulk it up so it's not banging around in there. Then you'll stick in your toys, add your soap as per usual. And then I'm going to wash these on a warm to cool setting. You don't want anything too hot. And that's it. Once they're washed, you'll take them out and dry them on a towel. All right, hack number two is to use hot glue to seal holes in bath toys. Now, if you know, and if you have kids, these can get filled with mold. So what I like to do is I'm taking all these toys here, any toy that has a bottom with a hole, I'm gonna take them and just seal up that hole with some hot glue or even E6000 would work. You just wanna use anything that will seal up that little entrance there. You don't want water getting in there and turning into nasty mold and then having your child try to put it in their mouth, ugh. This one's super simple, but trust me, you'll be happy you did it. <laughs> All right, hack number three is to make dress up shoes and socks slip resistant with hot glue. So if any of you have girls, then you know they love to play dress up. And these shoes in particular, my daughter has fallen so many times wearing these. They do have a non-slip pad, but I'm gonna add a nice thick strip or two or even three um, on these shoes just to really help her have some grip on our tile. So you're just gonna add your thick strips of hot glue and let them dry, and that is it. You know, for some reason, manufacturers don't make non-slip or non-skid socks for bigger kids. I think they stop at 12 months, which my daughter still wears socks and still slips around um, on the tile or the hardwood floor. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add some hot glue dots on the bottom of her socks here, and that's it. Again, super simple, but trust me, it's life-saving, literally. Okay, hack number four is using rubber bands or hair ties for baby proofing. Now I love this hack. If you're in a pinch and you don't wanna spend all that money on those expensive clips and magnet uh, baby proofing latches, just get a hair tie or some rubber bands and you can latch it around here like I'm doing. Of course, a toddler could figure this out, so I'm gonna make it a little bit more complicated. I'm gonna take two rubber bands and wrap it around one end and pull it around the other, as you can see here. I'm gonna add a second one just to be safe. And that's it. These are nearly free. Rubber bands are super cheap. I don't know about you, but when my daughter was a baby, she used to love unrolling the toilet paper. So this was super practical. So I'm just gonna take a rubber band or a hair tie and just put it around the toilet paper roll, as you can see, and then stick it back on. She can't unroll it. She might be able to rip it off, but that's not as fun as trying to unroll the whole thing and run around the house with it. So it's pretty easy. Just slide it on and off, let it hang there, and that's it. And last hack with rubber bands is we are going to put this around the door latch so that a child cannot slam the door shut with their little fingers in there. So we're just gonna wrap it around one door handle, twist it, and make sure it's covering that latch there. I'm gonna add a second one just for safety to make sure it's really on there good. 
and now they cannot shut the door. It will not latch close. They can't lock the door on accident. So this one's super great. All right, hack number five, using magic eraser for permanent marker and pen marks. So my daughter loves to draw on her furniture and the walls. And I found by chance actually, um, that magic eraser actually will take off permanent marker too. So you just want to get it really, really wet and then wash it off. That simple. I got these from Walmart. They are the knockoff brand, but they work just as good. And congratulations, John Sanchez. You are the winner of the giveaway. Make sure you send me an email to that email on the screen and we can get your Amazon gift card sent right over. <laughs> All right, hack number six is using a condiment cup for clean and dirty passies. So this one's super practical. If you have a child who needs passies, you know that you need more than one and you need a clean place to store them. So I'm just gonna take the pacifiers here and put them in this plastic cup with a lid. Go ahead and close it up. Now the genius part is taking a spare cup and writing the word dirty on the cup so that if your child drops it or it's dirty, falls on the floor, whatever, you can stick the dirty one in there so you don't mix them up and then just pop it in your purse or your diaper bag and you are good to go. All right, hack number seven is using a shower cap for babies. Now my daughter hated getting water in her ears so I bought these, they work great keeps the soap and the water out, super stretchy, it fits over her head, easy to take on, easy to take off. It was 10 bucks on Amazon. And here's the one that I bought on the left and here's some other versions. You could see how it works there with the soap. Hack number eight is using stickers on the inside of shoes so your child can tell left from right. So this one, I love this one. My daughter is learning how to put her shoes on by herself and learning left from right. So we're gonna take some stickers here, any sticker of choice. Now you're gonna take the sticker and you're gonna cut it in half. Using a sticker with a face is usually better. Um, then you're gonna flip the shoes around and then put the sticker on the inside of the soles. So if the child were to put the shoes together, you would see a face like so. And this one really helped my daughter. She was constantly putting her shoes on the wrong feet. And I felt so bad because she was trying so hard, but she always got it wrong. But this time she always gets it right. So love this hack. All right, hack number nine is car travel baskets. Now I love this hack. I got these baskets from Dollar Tree. So basically you're just going to make a toy basket and then the next one is going to be a food basket. So just put anything and everything that your child likes to play with. Of course, mess free things like these color blast uh, marker kits and then like a notebook or whatever, uh, Barbies, stuffed animals, stuff like that, just so they have things to keep them occupied and they don't get too bored. I know not every child has an iPad, so this is very helpful. I'm just gonna pack all her stuff in there, Barbies, toys, Peppa Pig. <laughs> and then lastly, I'm gonna put some sunglasses cause she always forgets those. And then a little baggie of hair ties and hair clips and a brush. This has come in super handy when she's played really hard and lost her hair tie. <laughs> The second basket is just a snack basket. Now I found this super helpful. It holds them over until you get home if they're hungry after playing. So I put some wet one wipes in there and some hand sanitizer. And then I basically just filled it with her favorite snacks. Um, I did not put any perishable things in there. There's no fresh fruit or uh, dairy like cheese sticks or anything like that. It's just, you know, shelf stable things that can stay in the car. And then two bottles of water and that is it guys, easy. But my most favorite basket is gonna have to be the diaper basket. Now I would show you guys if I don't have any more diapers, but just put anything you would need, diapers, wipes, changing pad, passy, change of clothes, stuff like that for a diaper blowout. Super practical and great to have. All right, hack number 10 is no drip snacks. Now more specifically, we're talking about a popsicle here. I've got some cupcake liners. These are made out of paper. I would suggest using the aluminum ones, but if you don't have aluminum, just double wrap them, put two liners. 
Then you are going to put a little tiny hole in the bottom of that cupcake liner just to get it started. And then you just pop the popsicle in and you're good to go. This is great. There's no drip, there's no mess, there's no none of that. All right, hack number 11 is using small hair elastics with a seam ripper. Now, if any of you know, if you put these little elastics in your daughter's hair, trying to get them out, it's always a fight and my daughter's always crying because it hurts. So basically, I'm just gonna demonstrate here. We're gonna put one on her braid, wrap it around as you would. Then you're gonna take that seam ripper. Most sewing kits come with these. If not, you can always get them on Amazon, but my sewing kit has a couple. Then you'll get in there and get under that elastic and then just pull up and it pops off, easy peasy. No tears, no crying, none of that. This was a lifesaver. I'm so happy with this hack. All right, last but not least is hack number 12, removing glitter with a lint roller. I use this one all the time. Here I am just demonstrating for you if you spill glitter, even on clothes, this works great. My lint roller is super sticky, so it always picks up every single little speck and it's not on my face, it's not on my clothes. I love this hack, it works super well every time. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed these mom hacks. There were so many hacks that I absolutely love that I did not get to fit into one video. So if you guys would like to see a part two, please let me know in the comments down below. I also wanted to give another shout out to John Sanchez for winning the giveaway. John, don't forget to email me so I can send you over your gift card. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I am posting more regularly on there. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.